All right, y'all, just gonna do a simple video on soldering some uh, QSA connectors. Nothing too serious. Um, I already snipped off the ECH that come on there. All right, it's gonna be pretty simple. I'm not gonna go over everything. Just gonna, just showing how simple it should be to solder these. First thing you wanna do is your uh, your pre tin. Um, here are the specs on my. Solder and pre tin. Main thing about soldering is having a good tip, you know, or even if the tip is bad, you can fix it up, but the tip needs to be good. Other thing, you need ventilation because this stuff is poisonous if you don't use talk to free, it's real poisonous. So the way how I like to tin, I just get a whole bunch on there, right? And then once that's on there, I just kind of just move it around. Move it around so it's stuck in the wire. And I mean, that's really it. It's real simple to, to, to tin. So we got the tin part done. Cool. So now let's uh, do our connector. Um, let's get our cap on there. Use a dummy connector so the pins don't get misaligned. And we're gonna go into the negative side, which is not anti-spark. Some good zoom in. Right, so now we're all good. Clean off your tip. So now what you want to do is you want to want to melt the iron up in there. Get that get that iron up in there melted. Be careful. Don't shock yourself. Don't melt any balance connectors or, you know, just be careful. Let's get that up in there. So now we got solder up in there. So what I like to do is once that's in there and it's stuck, I like to push down on the wire. Just push down on that wire real good. Get that wire in there real good. Let it cool down. So now, the wire should be really good in that connector. Just add more. Just keep adding more solder. Now you don't want it to drip on the other end. So all I like to do, you see how I have this end raised up? I like to now hang it down some. The only part about this, when you hang it down, you know if you're too aggressive with the heat, your wire will pop out. You know what I mean? So, don't go too crazy with the heat. Just get the solder up in there and just fill it all up. So, I like to use heat, melt it, back up, let it cool a little bit. If you get it too hot, it's going to separate. And I'm doing this without helping hands, so a lot of people use helping hands. I don't really need it. I solder for a living. I don't need helping hands. Certain things you need helping hands for, but this stuff is just too easy. All right. So, oops, cat fell down. Just be very careful. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, so we'll do the other side now. Get our wire strippers if I can find them, which I probably can. How did I lose those? 
I have no idea how I lost my wire strippers. Put them somewhere. We'll just use this. Not the best tool, but once you get the feel for it, it's not too hard. Same thing here. You wanna you wanna tin that. You know what I mean? You wanna tin that wire. Clean off your tip. Let's go ahead and turn that wire. Like I said, I like to put a lot on there and then just move it around while it's on, you know, after it's on there. Just, just, just I like to overdo it. There you go. So once it's all up in there, you just kind of move it around, make sure it's all soaked up in there. There you go, that's perfectly tinned. So once we got that tin, bring it through our cap. Be careful, don't shock yourself. Lay that thing up in there. Real good. It's kind of the same process. Let's get that thing nice and hot. Let's get it nice and hot. Add some solder. All right. Boom. So now that's in there. Add some more solder. Now we're at the point where we can let it hang again. Remember the let it hang thing? That way we don't have the... Because when you have it flat and you're just filling it up with solder, it tends to fall down here and short. There's ways to prevent that. You can put tape and all that, but I like to just avoid that in general. I don't want nothing, you know, overfilling and dripping over. That's not cool when doing batteries. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I could probably reheat this one a little bit more. And just reheat this one a little bit more. Just gotta be careful doing this because you don't want to short circuit nothing. Alright. So that's pretty much it. You just get your cap. That's it.